Hey there on YouTube, it's the NFL Matchup Show. It's the game of the week. It's the Chiefs and the Cowboys. I'm Sal Palantonio, Greg Cosell, Matt Bowen. The Matchup Show, we're going to break it down. We're going to start with Dak Prescott in this offense, Matt Bowen. When he's healthy, they get it done. Yeah, and you saw that last week in the win over Atlanta. I thought it was a very multiple game plan from offensive coordinator Kellen Moore. You saw the red zone targets for C.D. Lamb. They used the screen game. Dak throwing on time and within rhythm in the pocket. We know he can get outside to extend plays. He looked excellent on that take. And you know what? The Cowboys are back on top in points scored per game, 31 and a half. And Michael Gallup was back last week, and he is their boundary X. He's the single receiver to the short side of the field. So what that did last week, we saw C.D. Lamb back in the slot as the movement motion receiver, and that creates matchups in the pass game. And another guy who's on, back on schedule, at least for one game, was Patrick Mahomes the second against the Raiders. What did you see in that film that bodes well for this game? Well, I think he cut out a lot of the unnecessary movement, both inside and outside of the pocket, that had defined his game. And I think you saw the ball come out quick. He was decisive. He didn't wait. Now, the Cowboys have played a lot of man coverage this year, the highest percentage in the league. I'd be surprised if you see that percentage remain that high. Follow-up question. You've been saying for weeks that Patrick Mahomes has been frenetic in the pocket. He has So been. what happened? Did they have some kind of come-to-Jesus meeting? They probably did. Yeah, say, hey, calm down. This is the way we can play football and win games? I imagine that they had some kind of conversation because the way he played was different than he had played in the previous weeks. You could see it immediately. I was in maybe the first quarter of the game, Sal, and I saw it immediately that the ball was coming out of his hands. And when you see when Andy Reid coach football team and Steve Spagnolo on defense, Matt, they're getting a little, as to use Greg Cosell's word, incrementally <laughs> better in Kansas City. They've kind of changed their defensive profile. How too. so? Well, not as much pressure last week. Not as much man coverage. We know with Spags, you're going to get cover one man and cover zero man when they come after you. Right now, if you look at the last three games of the season, no one in the NFL has played more cover two than the Kansas City Chiefs. You'll get it out of nickel, five defensive backs. Is that a good idea against Dak Prescott? I think it's a great offense? idea. I do not think why? they match. Why? Show us I, why. Tell us I why. I don't think they match up well in the perimeter against Dallas. So if you're not going to match up well on the perimeter, you're going to roll your corners up to the flat. You're going to jam with two safeties over the top. Try to limit those explosive plays down the field. One thing about KC, when they play in their dime sets, Tyron Matthew yeah. plays the position of the linebacker. Now he's your middle hole defender. And when he's lying in the weeds, you better be careful with the football. Now on third down, which of course is the money down, sure. and late in the season, where is Dak Prescott going with the football where the Kansas City Chiefs must match up? C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb, to me, is the best receiver on the Cowboys. As I said, he's their movement receiver. You'll see him predominantly in the slot, but not exclusively in the slot. They'll move him around. They'll force the Chiefs to show their hand pre-snap as to what coverage it is. And what do you see from Mike McCarthy in this Cowboys defense, specifically now with Dan Quinn as they have progressed this season? Well, Dan Quinn's not beholden to one particular coverage. And I think you'll see multiple coverages in this game. But Micah Parsons, to me, is such a critical player because Parsons not only is a stack backer with great sideline to sideline range, but he can rush the quarterback on the ball off the edge. Now, this game is in Kansas City. So what do you expect Dan Quinn to try to do to match up against the less frenetic Patrick Mahomes, who's going to be looking for Travis Kelsey specifically on third down? Well, Greg mentioned it earlier. I don't think they're going to do a lot of man coverage in Dallas. I think Trayvon Diggs, I think it's a poor matchup for him against the speed of a guy like Tyree Kill or Miko Hardman. More split safety coverage. Go back to zone coverage, make him force the ball underneath, and Greg, see if he can do it again. Yep. Patrick Mahomes for the second straight week. I agree. Take the throws that are available. Are you impressed so far with Micah Parsons? I'm extremely impressed. Super. So every time you turn on the tape with Micah Parsons, he is making disruptive plays. He can do it off the ball, like Greg said, but I'm really impressed by Sal, his ability to rush as an edge defender. It's the NFL Matchup Show. We're on ESPN 2 on Saturday mornings, ESPN on Sunday mornings, and on YouTube now. How about that? Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.